stories that matter to you. This is Fox 40 News at 6. Coming up tonight on Fox 40 News at 6, a small aircraft crashes in the town of Franklin. We'll bring you the details. And with back to school around the corner, New York now releases guidance for enrolling migrant kids in schools. Fox 40 News at 6 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Brooke Warpus. Today is Monday, August 28th, and thank you for joining us this 6 o'clock hour. No injuries for a Texas man and his son after their small plane crash in Delaware County over the weekend. It happened on Saturday, a small aircraft crash near a residence in the town of Franklin. According to the Delaware County Sheriff's, at the same time 911 dispatchers were getting calls about the downed plane, they received a call from the Air Traffic Control Center in Boston. Officials say the 72-year-old pilot sent a mayday transmission that he was having engine failure. When first responders arrived, pilot Ron Galupo and the passenger, his 22-year-old son Nathan, had extricated themselves from the crashed plane. The plane was traveling from the state of Maine to their home state of Texas. Both were treated at a nearby hospital for minor injuries. Cell phone video captures the final moments as a sheriff's helicopter spinning before crashing in Broward County, Florida. Two people were killed when the fire rescue helicopter crashed this morning. One person on board the helicopter and a second person on the ground. Four others were sent to the hospital. Ten people arrested, two charged with murder after police say an Ithaca man was kidnapped and killed. State police say 33-year-old Thomas Rath was forcibly abducted from an area behind the Lowe's in Ithaca on May 20th. Six days later, authorities deemed his disappearance as suspicious. Over 80 officers carried out a large-scale foot search in Newfield, where they say Rath had recently been located. On August 3rd, however, police found Rath's remains in a shallow grave in the town of Candor. Again, 10 people arrested, all but one charged with kidnapping, and two have been charged with murder. The investigation is ongoing and authorities expect more arrests to follow. Anyone with information is asked to contact New York State Police Major Crimes at 607-561-7400. A Johnson City woman is charged after a pedestrian crash in Pennsylvania turns fatal. The Wayne County, Pennsylvania District Attorney says Lisa Barnes of Johnson City is charged with leaving the scene of a deadly crash after she struck Franklin Poller in the 900 block of Creek Drive, Clinton Township on August 11th. Barnes admitted to Pennsylvania State Police that she was distracted by texting friends for help, her dog in the vehicle, and trying to get her GPS to work. She said she glanced down at her phone, left the road, and struck what she thought was a mailbox. Poller passed away from his injuries on August 12th. And a Binghamton man is behind bars after he is found guilty of weapon and her stopping you at the airport. Meet Dina. She's a three-year-old dog who is a passenger screening canine at Harry Reid International Airport. She is the winner of TSA's 2023 Cutest Canine Contest. Last week, TSA held a social media contest where the public had the opportunity to vote for the agency's cutest canine. Congratulations, Dina. That's all our time for this 6 o'clock hour. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check back in with us tonight at 10. Have a great night.